Alright, what is up you guys, and as always, welcome back to another OU battle, which is really the Skyrender. And today we go against the Reddit player, Suku. And, um, yeah, as always, let's see what happens. That's, uh, that's kind of the thrill. <laughs> um, this team has done somewhat well. Um, it's pressuring teams early, and uh, while it is no... Like, I have no backbone on this team, it does do alright once it gets offensive momentum. And this team looks great! <laughs> it's really good. Um, let's see. What are the fairest leads here? I kind of feel like I struggle against a plethora of these Pokemon naturally. Um, I kind of lead off with um, Glycopod. I don't believe I'll lose too much by actually introducing that. Does semi well versus everything, and uh, I think it pressures everything too. Besides, maybe Snorlax and Kingler. Kingler probably wins this matchup, and uh, I don't necessarily want to see it set up an agility against me, as I have no proper response for Kingler actually. Um, besides Tailwinding, I hope it doesn't go for the second one of that. Oh, right, that, that's a Snorlax. That's. That's not annoying. So right, I do have close combat. Because it's just a phenomenal move overall. Let's see, this side is in. And that's why we use Glycopod. Oh shit. That was... That was a rough first turn, wasn't it? I mean, it's not over, but that... Oof. Here comes Dragapult. Here's the thing, I do believe I have Sucker Punch. But do I really want to put myself in that position at minus one? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Come at me, brah. Come at me. Yeah, yeah, I think that's fair. Here comes a Fire Blast. Assault Vest, will it save me? Oh yeah, yeah, we're, we're game. We are game. Minus one, it just didn't even touch me. There I go. This feels like the first rounds of the three versus three Dynamax rounds right now, where Glycopod just kind of stopped anything that could hit it. It is such a phenomenal that's gonna thing with beasts. It never has have it been better. All right, my opponent really, really, really wondering what it's supposed to do now. But honestly, I think. I think most mods threatens me, but I'll keep going at it. As minus one, I think emerge exits kind of force me out. Here we go again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hmm. I mean, who needs emerge exit when you do stuff like this? Here comes Elder Gauss. Yeah. Thing is. I mean, without the first impression, I'm kind of forcing myself out. So, we'll do that. Um, gonna bring in Jum Jum. This could have been a whole game all about Leaf Storm. Yeah, that's aggressive. I think that's the right play. And it does really good chunk. But I'm actually gonna go back to Garrus because I think I can. Uh, I think the last one is not done yet. Hopefully. We draw Elder Gods, alright? There. Goes to Kingler. Alright, so first impression it is. Protect. Ah, oh, that's nasty. That's actually real good. <laughs> I should give up on that. Um, okay, close combat then. The way I see it, my opponent could either go for agility or like liquidation push me over the borders. Slam. All right, all right, buddy. Uh, 
I have my suspicions about this team, but at, at this point, I just want to enjoy myself. Here comes Slam again. Ugh. I mean, it's sheer force boosted, so... I think I can just go at it with Tauros. At this point, like, I got the, like, the biggest massive momentum from the get-go. And I don't think anything that I'll do from here will let up. You just get that one turn right and all of a sudden, like, the world opens up to you. But by the way, with Dragapult, I was kind of thinking I was going to go for Dragon Dart because I, I would get emergency from the first start, which it would, would have been fair. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, Tauros is Tauros after all. What else we got? We had Elder Goss and we had one more Mon to deal with. Sensing so Elder Goss. Now, the thing is, Elder Goss is actually, all things considered, is bulky. So I know Bonus Level do good chunk, but it still is bulky. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it cut him down. And here comes the Lee Storm. And it could kill. It's in the range at least. It's absolutely in the range. The thing is, Elegaz is actually quite speedy. I don't want to take too big of a risk here, so I'm actually just gonna send in Garrus and go for a rather safe first impression. Just cutting down, down basically put me in the range where I think it can outspeed me if done right. I think Elegaz is like base 80, and that's even though it's a bulky Pokemon, it's a definitely got speedier bulkier Pokemon. Second Leaf Storm comes my way, and we're gonna do just fine. This is probably one of the few times I really missed it didn't have stuff like Leech Life, because that would have been. would have allowed me to actually recover some HP here. We'll see what my opponent decides to do. Withdrawals, oh, super aggressive. Two draws on, yeah, yeah, I remember that. But still did good though. I'm gonna take this risk. I think Great Comitio can take us out. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Now I, now, now I kinda need to play good, I don't think, because this is, this is a KO. Okay. Garrus, you did good though. You did very good. But this Max Warrior wouldn't just gonna obliterate me and that's that's fine. Wait, it's not over. It's not over. But my attack fell. It is absolutely not over. So badly want to save this. But that was a super effective hit and it didn't cut it. Sucker Punch will not be enough. But does it matter though? Does it matter? I think it did everything it needed to do. Actually, we'll do like this. I'm, I can have my fun a bit. How about no, sir? How about no? Let's do this. Coward. <laughs> Coward. Right, one moon blast coming right up. Yeah, I'm trying to reserve a 6-0, I know. I'm a bit cheeky like that. But draws are all done. No idea why, actually. I mean, from here it's GG. There is... 
There is no coming back from this. Because I have the focus, I got the captain down, and I think it's gonna try to get me with that steel beam. I can only assume that's the play. But this is one of those games where... You know what? If I'm slower, I'm just gonna get as much out of this as possible. No, we weren't. Damn it. <laughs> I just wanted the line supply to come in. Alright, gonna bring in Willis Raptor. And wrap up. On the fence. You know what? I can respect that. Because now it's GG, sir. Now it's the G's of G's. Enough already. To be honest, though, I really, really, really just wanted to try to um, wrap up with uh, Goliath's apart as well as I could. But, um, yeah, I mean, basically, I had no ways of piloting slower than this. So, I'll leave in this sort of this Raptor, but we all know Goliath's apart was absolute hero of this game. Now, I was faster, which is nice. Um, not that it necessarily would have mattered anyway. A plus two de defense, there's just nothing coming back from that. So, GG Jisuko, this actually turned out to be... I was thinking I was in a very good spot, but my opponent definitely made a comeback. And while it is a 6-0, you guys saw exactly how my whittled down my Pokemon were. There was no way neither, like, Garrus or, or I mean, Michael Isopod or uh, Toros was going to come back in there. Uh, so, my opponent, GG, thank you, and for everybody else, as always, thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. And, you know, have a great day, everyone. Take care.